It's no secret we've been getting our share of rain this year, and the recent rains we've had in August alone have clearly not been kind to the Alewife Brook. Once again, it's being used as a sewer with no solution in sight for the immediate future. The Alewife Brook is often impaired due to bacterial and other pollutants from several sources, including combined sewer overflows, or CSOs as they're called, connections between sanitary sewers mainly from Cambridge and Somerville. Storm drains and stormwater runoff also add to this concern. Now, the grassroots environmental group Save the Alewife Brook took some serious notes on August the 8th after a substantial rainstorm and recorded the aftermath. Then they contacted the State Water Resources Authority calling for action. Earlier this week, I went to the brook. The banks of the Alewife Brook are spongy, and you don't want to get too close to the water. It stinks. Time and time again for decades now, people have been told by the Massachusetts Water Resource Authority to avoid contact with the Alewife Brook and parts of the Mystic River after the release of stormwater mixed with sewage on the Cambridge-Arlington line. Now, Cambridge city leaders say the overflows are necessary to prevent contaminated water from backing up into homes, businesses, and nearby streets. But members of the grassroots organization Save the Alewife Brook Say every time there are substantial rainfalls, the brook acts like a sewer full of harmful bacteria and other pollutants. The MWRA says it needs time to come up with a solution, but residents say enough is enough. Earlier this month, for instance, members of Save the Alewife Brook sent an email to the executive director of the MWRA, Frederick A. Lasky. In it, the group said this. On August the 8th, Massachusetts Water Resources Authority, Somerville and Cambridge discharged an estimated 8.77 million gallons of untreated sewage contaminated water into Alewife Brook. The Alewife Brook flooded over its bank and into Department of Conservation and Recreation Parkland, sending contaminated flood water up to a foot deep over the Alewife Greenway path. This is video sent to ACMI News taken August the 8th from Save the Alewife Brook. You can see a jogger dodging the massive puddle and someone actually pushing a baby stroller through this mess and another person walking toward what is an overflow of sewage. Save the Alewife Brook members say the MWRA is required to warn people within two hours of any discharge into the brook and that the MWRA failed to do that within the time frame. And when it finally did, it described the massive discharge as partially treated sewage. The email to Lasky continues, describing the discharge as partially treated misleads the public who might believe that the discharge has received sanitary treatment to meet water quality standards and that effluent monitoring is done to confirm this. This misleading statement circumvents the required notification and public health protocols. Earlier this year, ACMI News interviewed members of Save the Alewife Brook after another heavy rainfall earlier in the spring. Pardon me if I give you the stank face because I'm standing next to CAM 401B, which is one of the six CSOs that um, combined sewer overflow um, discharges come out of in this teeny 1.6 mile brook. That's very narrow. It, it, here it's in a, in a concrete channel and it stinks. There's been zero progress whatsoever. Um, we are heartened by the fact that um, the Cambridge Health Department is letting people know about uh, the sewage discharges. We got two inches of rain over 18 hours on Saturday, and five out of six of the Alewife CSOs discharged raw, untreated sewage into this tiny brook. The Alewife Brook gets no treated sewage discharge. And the problem with this is that it gets into people's homes during flood events. There are 5,000 people who live in the Alewife's floodplain, and we really need to see it stop. And it smells terribly here. I wish you people watching this had your noses here and could smell how terrible it really is. This is not the smell of a natural brook. This is the smell of a brook that's been completely invaded by sewage over and over again. So we're calling on MWA, Cambridge and Somerville to do much more than they're doing now and to do much more than they're proposing to do. I'm here partly because I want to speak for the brook as a water protector, as an aspiring you know, like indigenous ally. Um, I want to speak for the brook because the brook can't speak for itself. I want to speak for the birds and the frogs that aren't here and the turtles that aren't here. 
Save the Alewife Brook members call the MWRA's action or inaction, depending on how you look at it, a long-standing pattern of indifference and repeated violations. And it should be addressed with enforcement and with new requirements for enhanced real-time public notification efforts. ACMI News called the MWRA's media contact, Rhea Condry, for comment. Her outgoing voicemail said she was on vacation and to call another contact, Sean Navin. We repeatedly did that. His voicemail has been full, repeatedly. Much like the Alewife Brook. Of course, we'll keep you updated on any new developments on this story. Meantime, if you want more information on just how bad things are at the Alewife Brook, and they are indeed bad, just go to the Save the Alewife Brook website, savethealewifebrook.org. Again, that's savethealewifebrook.org.